Hi everybody, Deborah Dickinson here, and thank you for being on my channel. I'm going to ask you straight away, if you have not already done so, please subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified for all of my videos and not just some content. And I'd really appreciate it if you make sure that you're subscribed. Thank you. Today I want to talk to you about some misconceptions around my RV Phoenix. I renamed her from Freebird to Phoenix because I thought for a while that she was broken down permanently. And all of these videos will be linked in the video description or pinned comment if you've missed them. So please be sure and go and check that out. I do not think it was bad luck to rename her. I get that some people said, I uh, left some comments about it was, um, if you rename a boat, it's bad luck. And um, I don't really subscribe to that notion, but for mostly I have to tell you that Phoenix has not been bad luck for me. She is an older RV. She is a 1984. And so anytime that you buy a vintage vehicle, no matter what it is, and it has not been maintained, there is going to be some maintenance on it and some expenses. And that is what has been happening with Phoenix. It's not that she is a bad vehicle, and I certainly wasn't sold a lemon. I want to give a shout out again and, to, and say how thankful I am to Gina and Jeff for selling me this rig. And when they realized all of the issues that she had, they wrote off the rest of the loan and they sold her to me for the deposit that I had given them. And that makes them earth angels and I will be forever grateful to them. At this point, I am about 25,000 into Phoenix with all of the repairs and everything that I have done. This last one, in fact, my last five videos have been about um, the this last breakdown <laughs> that she had, and it was when the heater core went out. And Jana, it, it, Frugal RV Gal, if y'all haven't checked out her channel, please do, because it is amazing. She does amazing videos, and I'm just so grateful for her and all that she has helped me with. But we did a bypass on the heater core, but it when it... Um, it seems like it exploded to me, I, and I'm sure that's not what it did, but when it leaked all over the carpet and everything inside the cab back here, back here in the cab of my RV, we had to take out that uh, horrible carpet, and it was just, it was, it was really nasty, and we had to go get bolts cut out, and again, if you've missed those videos, you can find them in the pinned comment and the video description. But again, that's just part of an older vehicle. We saved, and, and by we, I saved, because of Jana, about $1,500 to $2,000 on that repair by doing that bypass ourselves. And we were able to do that because of my cousin and uh, also Curtis, but my cousin walked us through every step of the way. And so thank you again, Mike. And I guess I just wanted to do this video because I'm seeing a lot of comments um, that, uh, you know, that um, the uh, rig isn't solid or she's not sound or that I got a lemon or any of those kind of things. And I just want to say that's not true. We are going to paint the inside and I'm going to be making curtains and getting rid of the, the mini blinds. And there's just all kinds of wonderful things that's going to be happening with her that you're going to get to see. And she is a solid rig, especially after me putting about $20,000 into her and getting all of the mechanical part stuff done from, from the back to the front um, and the, the chassis and, and the uh, everything. Uh, gosh, I, I, you know what I need to do is probably make a list of all of the repairs and the costs that I have done. The parts for this, uh, the uh, heater core bypass and uh, for getting the carpet and everything out and replacing the bolts and all that had to be done for that was about $300. And so while $300 is, is a, a hit, it's nothing like the $1,500 or $2,000 that I would have done. You're not seeing Bando, Bendito, El, Bendi, El Bendito Bandit in this video today because he is still in the hospital. I'm hoping that by the time this airs, he has come home. But he has uh, been diagnosed with acute pancreatitis. 
and actually while I'm making this video I'm waiting on the vet to call and I will be doing a video about that so you can stay tuned for that and I, and I hope to share with you what I've learned and uh, can pass on to you um, on information on that because I don't want my baby boy to get sick anymore but Phoenix provides a beautiful home for Bandit and I she is a solid rig I am so blessed and grateful to be the proud owner of her and get to live this lifestyle and there are times when I think oh my god I miss living in a van or something smaller so that I can go to beautiful places but you guys where I'm at now is also beautiful and I'm with my friends Jenna and C-dubs and um, you know I just spent the winter in Quartzsite and Yuma and that area and then went to Pahrump and if you've been following my channel you know that I get to do a lot of wonderful things with a lot of wonderful people. So I just wanted to set this story straight that there is nothing wrong with Phoenix. Uh, she is a good solid rig. I'm not going to be able to get a $25,000 23 foot class C fiberglass anywhere else. Um, and so even if I have to keep putting a little bit more money into her as, as time goes by, I am very, very proud to own this rig and I can't wait to get the inside done and all of the decor and everything that I want to do and do another tour of her. And if you have any questions about the money and everything, let me know and let me know if you want to see a video, um, about the repairs and everything that I've, I've done on her you know anybody that owns her and would be able to live in her and have all of this done would be blessed and and I'm just I'm very grateful so I just wanted to set that record straight and let you know that the last five videos have been while we're here in this beautiful forest and it was all related to the heater core bypass that we did and I just wanted to say thank you again to my cousin Mike and to Jenna as always you are just amazing and anybody that knows you knows that so y'all go check out frugal rv gal and i am hoping to hear from the vet here soon and we'll have an update for you on bandit soon we'll see you down the road everybody keep on keeping on